For today's video, I want to talk about Lumion Legacy's biggest scam. What exactly do I mean when I say Lumion Legacy's biggest scam? Well, a lot of you guys probably think I'm talking about this thing, which is conveniently located at the top of the screen. This is known as the Lumi Boost, and basically the Lumi Boost you pay Robux to increase your odds of finding rare encounters in the wild. I know a lot of people do not agree with the Lumi Boost, a lot of people call the Lumi Boost a scam, but personally, I think that the Lumi Boost is a very smart monetization idea that Lumion Legacy has. I mean, I guess nowadays if you don't have a Lumi Boost, it is sort of pointless to hunt in Lumion Legacy, therefore hunting is sort of restricted to the people who have Lumi Boost, but hey, I feel that Lumion Legacy does a really good idea at giving out free Lumi Boosts for those who can't obtain them. Okay, so if the Lumi Boosts aren't Lumion Legacy's biggest scam, it surely has to be this thing which is conveniently located in the Lumion Laboratory. Let's enter the door and let's talk with the NPC. So we've entered the door and there's this NPC over here, and this NPC is selling me some starters. I can adopt either 1, 10, or 100. Even though a lot of the people have their own opinions on Gamma Starters, I personally do not think that Gamma Starters are a scam in Lumion Legacy. I mean, yes, they are overpriced, but as someone who has maybe spent around 300,000 Robux or 400,000 Robux on Gamma Starters and continues to do so, I personally do not think that this is even a scam in Lumion Legacy. Okay, so we've covered Lumi Boost and we've covered Gamma Starters, and my honest take is that those two things aren't scams and you sometimes get your money's worth. Now, what exactly is Lumion Legacy's biggest scam? Lumion Legacy's biggest scam is conveniently located in the Atlantean City Arcade. Upon entering the Atlantean City Arcade and upon talking to the NPC over here, they appear to be selling a Lumion called Bunari. Bunari is Lumion Legacy's version of Ditto, and to buy a Bunari, it costs 2,000 tickets. There are two ways of obtaining tickets. Number one is playing these machines for countless amount of hours, and number two is talking to the person over here, which they basically tell you, I'll give you 3,000 of my tickets for 100 Robux. So upon using this as a base, turns out that buying a Bunari costs 66.66 Robux. In other words, buying a box full of Bunari comes out to being 2,000 Robux. And on the other hand, buying a box full of starters comes out to be 750 Robux. Are you guys seeing what I'm trying to say? But wait, it even gets worse. So technically speaking, you have to buy 640 starters to obtain a Gamma Starter. This basically makes a Gamma Starter worth 16,000 Robux. If you apply the same formula to a Gamma Bunari, which means that you have to buy 640 Bunaries to obtain a Gamma Bunari, this comes out to being 42,662.4 Robux. So on one hand, you can either spend 16,000 Robux and get a Gamma Starter, or on the other hand, you can spend 42,662.4 Robux and get a Gamma Bunari. Are you guys seeing what I'm trying to show you here? It's either get three Gamma starters or get one Gamma Bunari. But wait, it somehow actually gets worse. Here, I conveniently have a Gamma Bunari, and don't get me wrong, the Gamma Bunari looks simply amazing. The color scheme of black and white, especially being complemented with that pure white whisk, just makes this Lumion amazing to see. And hey, when Bunari was originally released in Lumion Legacy, we all thought that Gleam Bunaries were gonna operate similar to how Shiny Ditto does. What exactly do I mean? Well, in Pokemon, if you have a Shiny Ditto, and if you use a Shiny Ditto on the opposing Pokemon, you will essentially get the Shiny version of that Pokemon itself. On Lumion Legacy, it's a different story. Now let me just run in the wild and show you guys what's about to happen. So we ran in the wild and a Twiddle appeared. Now we're sending out our Gamma Bunari and first you're greeted by this amazing transformation animation. This looks very cool. And oh my gosh, my Gamma Bunari turned into a regular Twiddle. No, why did Lumion Legacy make it so that your Gamma and Alpha Bunari does not transform into the Alpha or Gamma version of the opposing Lumion that you found? In my opinion, this does not make sense at all. If I'm not mistaken, it's because Lumion Legacy doesn't want to spoil the alpha and the gamma versions of future Lumions, but there are so many ways to get around this, and that shouldn't simply be a reason to completely make alpha and gamma Bunari useless. So just picture this, you just spent 42,662.4 Robux on obtaining a gamma Bunari, you're excited to find Lumions in the wild and have every single Lumion that you find be a gamma one, but it turns out that Bunari simply said, nope, I'm gonna transform into the original version of that Lumion, and all your hopes and dreams of seeing other gamma Lumions are simply just shattered. In my honest opinion, I do not think that Lumi Boosts are a scam, I do not think that buying Gamma Starters is a scam, but I most definitely do think that buying Gamma Bunari is the biggest scam that Lumion Legacy has. To put the cherry on top of what I just said in this entire video, according to this value list from a value server, it basically says, a pure dual Gamma Bunari is worth 4 Gleam Roamings, any personality Gamma Bunari is worth 6 Gleam Roamings, and a pure Hyper Gamma Bunari is worth 8 Gleam Roamings. So just imagine spending 40,000 Robux and simply just getting a Lumion 
that's basically worth four gleam roamings. Getting a Gamma Bunari technically costs 42,000 Robux to obtain. If you decide to put all that Robux into boost tokens, you could get 2,500 boost tokens instead. So with everything that I said in today's video, do you guys feel that Gamma Bunari is the biggest scam in Lumion Legacy? Because I most definitely do feel this way. And I do hope that in the future of Lumion Legacy, a Gamma Bunari can actually transform into the Gamma version of the Lumion you encounter. Because if Bunari ever gets switched to that, it would make spending 42,000 Robux justifiable with this Lumion itself. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm Armenti and we lit.